Okay, Wowers, this is part two, and we'll discuss, for those of you that want to do a stitching on a photograph like I shared at Joan's house, um, what ha needs to happen is that you need to choose a horizontal picture, and I have the cloth, if if um, you would like me to print it off on that, and that way the fabric is uniform throughout the book, that that might be helpful and important. I don't I don't know, um, but y you would get your your photo onto the cloth, and then you do your stitching. Um, photos are a little bit more challenging, and so uh, you might want to discuss it um, to see figure out what kind of stitches you might uh, apply to it. So uh, the size being four by six, that would leave a little portion, I think this was a five by seven, uh, uh, if you choose a five by seven then quite a bit of your perimeter would have to be adjusted or wasted. But a four by six, you would you would maybe put a border at the top and the bottom. Um, so we'll need to think about that. But uh, for those that want to do a second page, you could do like a photo and then on this half of the page, because we've based this all on an 18 square English piecing uh, size. And so on this side, you could do white cloth and then embroider your little heart out with some design that comes to you about water or the verite. Or um, you could write a poem or a message of some, some kind of your own making. Uh, definitely a chance to be very creative. You could also do strip work, like uh, joining, joining strips together. That's where you put two, piece, two little snarly pieces together, um, front, um, the front of the cloth together, and then you stitch a seam, and then you open it out, and then your next piece, you put your right sides together, and then you stitch a seam, and then you open it out for the, for the um, distance of what remains. Um, now, one thing I forgot to mention in the other video is please leave the st sticky notes inside and don't remove all the tacking yet. We'll, we'll wait to do that right before we construct it into a book. Now, the way I imagined this w was uh, these pages would be folded and stitched along the, the top and the bottom and then on this open side another piece of fabric would be inserted in between and secured and then this flappy part would be applied to the spine of the book we're going to construct and It'll be tacked onto the spine, and then there'll be a front cover and a back cover. And then chances are there'll be plenty of space between the pages so that you can open it out and really appreciate the stitching. Now, for those of you that choose the paper piecing, you could hand stitch on all of these. You could, you could get in there and do more detail, or you could do a quilting pattern. It is open-ended and you can put as much energy into this as you want. The paper piecing goes rather quickly. The stitching on a photo is a little bit more contemplative. Uh, it, slow stitching is what I'm thinking. And then on this side, uh, if you were to do free stitch, a free range, I call it free range stitching, um, that's at your own pace too. I would like us to be done by January if that's possible so there's time to put it all together. Uh, now let's see. 
Um, back to material choices, I think this is a great, great opportunity to talk with your other friends and family who might like to um, uh, that do sewing, and that way you get a lot of variety. I mean, after all, you, you only need a little scrap. So if you know people that have tons of scrap and haven't used them yet, this is great to help them break out of their um, hoarding. Now, my favorites are, of course, uh, the indigo. But as you can see, like this one, this one, this one, uh, they're very dark. And so it would be, now this is indigo too, but hand done. It was the last of the batch. And, and you can see these tiny little prints here. Um, other things, like this is a cotton chintz, that would, that would be okay. The shine on it might be a nice effect. But you can see there are all shades of blue, and you can see kind of how they interact. Uh, so um, be creative with your choices, and if you, if you make dozens of them, then you can work at your layout a little better. But please, please do not do not use any sheer sheer materials. This was out of my rug that I told you I have recycled. I don't know what that'll be, but definitely not in this project. And so, let's see what else is there. Um, I can't think of anything else. I wanted this to be short and sweet to the point. I want to encourage all of you uh, to to participate. I think it would be a lot of fun and. The theme for Puget Sound Book Artists this year is collaboration. And while I've been bold and just gotten this out, uh, I, I kind of responded to what I heard at Joan's house when I shared some samples. So don't feel like you have to do any one particular way. If you have other ideas, please suggest them. I'm sure uh, there's room for lots of creativity. So, enjoy, and I hope to hear from you.